overall, when you do work with somebody who's a little bit green, uh, what's your strategy? You just talk to them the whole time, or how do you? How well, do you, you talk to them. Hey, obviously, if they're if they're if they're green, and especially especially if they're green and they're they're getting in the ring with somebody who's a well established guy, they might be a little bit nervous because oh my gosh, I'm getting in the ring ring with Hulk Hogan, or I'm getting in the ring with DiBiase, or I'm getting in the ring with Randy Savage. You know, uh, a newer guy might you know that might make him nervous. And I would, I would always go out of my way to, to make the, whoever that was, who I, you know, who I didn't know, or maybe, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I would go out of my way to, 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 you know, ease their angst and say, Hey, you know, like, you know, like this is, this is going to be good. You know, and, you know, just listen to me out there. And, a, a pro's pro. Yeah. Uh, and that's the way it should be done. You know, I, I do hear about some guys who they'll, they'll get into the ring with somebody who's green and they'll just eat them alive uh, out there, not give them anything, kind of take advantage of it. So it's cool to hear that, like, you well, as I, a, as I, a I, guy would. And, you know what? And Marcus, to that point, guys like that are jerks. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, and, and, and here's the thing. What, what makes, you know, what, what's more logical? If you just go out there and guzzle some guy and you, you, know, you don't give him anything, you just pound him into the mat and one, two, three, who'd you beat? Nobody. You beat nobody, you know? But if you go out there and you give a, a young guy, you give him a cu couple of spots and make him feel good and do it in such a way that, that the fans can see the frustration in you, not him. You know, in you, it's like if, you know, if, if uh, and, and I'll tell you, the first match, uh, uh, Sean had, uh, Sean Michaels. And this is in Bill Watts' territory. I think, I, you know, they, uh, they put him in the ring with me. Oh, okay. When he came in as an enhancement guy. And, and yeah, and I could, I could, I could tell he had it, you know, you know, he, and he was very quiet and, and, and what have you, but I, I could, I could tell he had it. So I went out there and I told him, I said, here's what we're going to do. And I said, it's like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to come and, and, you know, I, I'm going to, you know, I, I'm going to, I'm going to do it in a way where things that I think are, are to my advantage are going to backfire on me, mm. whatever it was. And to the point of frustration and then, you know, get so frustrated that, you know, it's almost, almost to the point of, of embarrassment. Right. Yeah. And that's, that's when I would crack the head and just beat the living crap out of you. So. And years later, you would do the same thing for Sean Waltman in the WWF on raw. You'd put him over. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, just part of and being a pro. Like that was like the biggest, Oh my gosh. Who, who would believe that would ever happen? Da, 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 da. No. It was a really well done storyline too. We talked about it before, but it, it was, you know, he had beaten Razor Ramon and you kept teasing Razor about, about losing to this quote unquote job guy. And yeah. then you wrestle the guy and he beats you too. So it's just, yeah, yeah good yeah. stuff. 